So I keep getting asked, what is it when a diver has to go from the water immediately to a chamber right after a dive? So this is the way we do it at a school. It's called the Sertio Tube Run. And what happens is the diver will do all of his decompression stops up until uh, till the 40 foot stop. He'll complete that one and then come directly to the surface in about a minute and 30 seconds. Once he's on the surface, he has a, uh, three minutes and 30 seconds to uh, get all of his gear off, which we'll walk at school. We normally walk down here and right in this bay area is where he'll take off his helmet, his weights, and his harness. Drop it off all here. Then he'll walk around this way and he'll go into the bathroom, get dressed, and then once he's undressed, he'll come this way and walk around over here and the chamber will be waiting for him. This one, it, it'll either be this chamber or this chamber. And you'll notice that there's two hatches in, the, in these chambers. The, the furthest one inside will be uh, ready for him at 80 feet, but the, there will be another guy waiting for him right, right behind this door to close it and open up th that valve right there and that lets the air from the furthest inside chamber into this one and at that point this will make a seal and when the two chambers reach an equal pressure uh, they'll most likely be at right around 50 feet and then uh, the, the race is off as soon as he gets his first, first breath of oxygen. So there are oxygen masks in here. Like that. And yeah, he, he also has to be at 50 feet when he takes that first breath. So, uh, first few times.